voice and uh, really appreciate it if you guys listen to what I need to say today. Now, boys, I'm going to be honest with you. Everything I'm going to say is coming from the heart. I've been thinking about quitting being a FIFA YouTuber. And I'm going to explain why. FIFA 20 has been a very difficult year for me. I'm going to list a number of things that have happened, not just to me, but the FIFA community. And on top of that, my job has something to do with this as well. Being a teacher is a stressful job. The last thing I want to do is come home and play something else that is very, very stressful. Now, FIFA 20 is arguably one of the worst FIFAs ever. Number one, I want to just say that I've got a daughter as well. And I could... I know I earn money from being a FIFA YouTuber. I do. But you have to remember, I invest money as well. So when you look at it, I'm not really earning that much money back. Do you understand? It's, I don't get a lot of views. And if you can see in the corner there, they're all the things that I've had issues with in FIFA 20. We need to see better servers. The amount of times I've lost connection to servers. And you know what? When I play FIFA, I look like that. I'm really angry. I'm anxious because in Division Rivals, you want Ibrahimovic, you want your favourite players, so you're playing it with a different heart. Like, you play it differently, your motive is different. When I was playing FIFA 14, I was always smiling, I was happy, I was, like, gassed. But, like, FIFA's become so competitive. It's become stressful. So, like I was saying, I want to see better servers. I want to see no input lag. The amount of times I click shoot to... Sh to shoot, I have to click B to shoot, and then I need to click it twice. It's ridiculous. AI defense is way too overpowered this year. Passing has to be better, honestly, and I don't know why, but when I'm playing, I don't know why my players love doing passbacks. I don't understand, it's just stupid. I know it happens in football, but it happens way too often in FIFA 20, and you just, they pass wrong. There's huge issues with this game when it comes to toxic behavior because of the competitiveness. People shushing you, people watching replay, replays of their goal. There's so many issues. Honestly, I want to see Icon SPCs, man. I want to work towards an Icon that I want. I get it, Icon Tokens, that is awesome. Icon Swap was awesome. I loved Icon Swaps. But let me put this straight. Some of them icons I don't want. And at the end of FIFA, I want to at least have one icon that I love, like R9, Zidane Prime, something. Give us some icon SPCs. So, what's the point of this video? Why am I making this? Boys, if FIFA 20 happens again, because I tell you right now, FIFA 19 wasn't a very good FIFA. I didn't like that El Tornado cross and then a header. I didn't like it when I used to get absolutely punished for that. I didn't like how OP finesse shots were last year. And I just genuinely say FIFA 19, FIFA 20. If FIFA 21 is like FIFA 20, I'm calling it. I'm done. I am honestly done with this game. I'm sorry, boys. But I want to say a massive shout out to everybody who watches my videos. Boys, I try my best. I'm a teacher as well. You've got to cut me some slack. That is a hard job. That is a hard job. On top of that, FIFA YouTuber. So I just wanted to update this 